I am Billy there, child, ladies and gentlemen. And I got a good one today, man. I'm about to give y'all my thoughts on this just hilarious and Derry Jackson on conversation about business and, and just um asking for a friend's help. I'm gonna let y'all listen to what they were saying and I'm gonna give my comments. And you know what the fuck I hate? See somebody that you know running a business and you wanna do the same thing. So you ask them what steps did they take? And it's mainly our fucking race. I'm just gonna call it how I see it. Because they don't want you to compete with them. But it's enough money for everybody, bitch. So I got a friend, I'm I'm asking, I'm like, yo, I'm I wanna start a business. How can you do it? Cause she's successful. Well, Jess, it's, it's a lot of hard work, you know? Okay. But, like, more specifically, how did you make it happen? Like, what did you do? I dedicated everything I had. You know, I committed, you know? Oh, I, but more specifically, what did you have to go through? Like, it's going to be a lot of long nights, a lot of sleepless days, you know? This just sound like a heartbreak. I'm talking about the steps. Who did you call? How did you get started? Specifically, since that's how black people understand specifically. Specifically, who did you call? Jesus. Believe it or not, Jess, Jesus and God were the only two people I called. They were the only ones to help me through this. Well, bitch, what's their numbers? Because I ain't getting nowhere with you. (laughs) You know, a part of me understands where she's coming from because I used to actually think the same thing. But let me just offer a different perspective real quick. Let's say you go to 15 years of school and understudying and job shadowing and all of that to become a neurosurgeon. And somebody just comes up to you and says, hey, teach me how to do surgery. How, how, how do you do that? Like, specifically, how do you do it? Or more realistic, realistically, let's say you open up a restaurant, right? And you spent your last dime to open up that restaurant. And whenever you finally get it open, somebody comes in and says, yo, give me the hookup. Give me some free food. Let me get that. That's the exact same thing whenever you go up to a successful business owner and you say specifically, lay out the steps it took for you to start that business or how do you run this business? Like, physically saying, give me the hookup is the exact same thing as intellectually saying, give me, give me, give me free information that may have taken you years and losses and tears and all of that to earn and, and to come up with. But here's the thing, like, in the same way, whenever you got a successful restaurant, you don't mind helping people in need, you know? You don't mind helping people at random just to show love, but there's a limit to that. Like, you can't help everybody. And you especially don't want to help people who have any kind of sense of entitlement whenever they come into your place of business. And if somebody asks you something, but they don't give you the freedom to say no, at least without attacking your character on the back end and saying that, you you know, you, you're just afraid to compete or you think there ain't enough money to go around. There's clearly some sense of entitlement there. But the right way to go up to somebody and ask for information, especially if you're talking about a successful business owner, is to ask if they offer consultations. Can you, you know buy them lunch at least do they have any books or maybe you know offer to exchange information that also may be helpful to them just to show respect for what they may be able to offer you and then accept whatever they do or don't give you because they really don't owe you anything granted i'm not saying that if you need help in your business or if you ask an entrepreneur for help in their business like you're entitled you're just a bad person i really think the problem is we live in a day and age where information is so freely given and because right then and there it's nothing you know it costs them nothing to tell you something so we automatically think it didn't cost them much to acquire that information but let me tell you something a lot of people think that entrepreneurs are out here depressed and going crazy or committing suicide because money don't buy happiness when that's partly the truth but the other part to that truth is entrepreneurship is just hard like you put your heart your soul your last dime towards something just to finally see whenever you launch it people don't support it or somebody done stole your concept or the one mistake that you made from your naivety caused your whole business to come crashing down now you got your family your friends your exes your enemies and everybody else looking at you like you a failure on top of that you more broke than whenever you first started so you got to figure that out add kids to the mix who are depending on you and here comes the anxiety here comes the frustration and whenever you finally get over that hump whenever you finally figure it out all the information the lessons that you learn have that much more value not just because of what the money is that it's saving you and what it's making you but also because of what you went through to get that so whenever somebody comes up and says intellectually gimme 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 it's damn near an insult so like before we approach people and we say you know what if you don't tell me what i want to know from you it means you don't think there's enough money and success to go around let's first make sure we approaching them with the appropriate amount of respect of what it may have taken for them to earn the information that we want from them because that ain't no friendly talk about what happened on your favorite reality show or who scored the most points last night that's a business consultation that apparently you're expecting for free again it's not strictly about the money like maybe they didn't have the time or maybe they didn't have the energy or maybe you didn't approach them the right way out the gate and had you done that they would have been willing to help you but if they did not they still wouldn't be wrong for it and if you're thinking to yourself it ain't even that serious it ain't even that deep then they rightfully chose not to waste that energy on you because clearly you don't value it god so 
I have to agree with both in different ways. For instance, um, if you was asking a person that you wasn't friends with that question, then yeah, you would. Have, I mean, you would have to go through consultations and things of that nature. But I feel like if you're talking about a friend or somebody you chill with, and you know. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have a relationship and y'all sitting down and y'all eating or whatever the case may be. And you trying to find out some new information of how to start a business or how to be successful in a business light. Um, I don't think it should have been an issue. Now, I, I agree with Jess Hilarious on that point because I feel like if you trying to start something that's a friend now, it's different from if this person not a friend. You're just walking up to a random person. Or something like that, then yeah, that's then you do the consultations and all of that other stuff. But you're talking about somebody that you call a friend, you know what I'm saying? Your friend should want to see you do good, no matter what the situation is, you know what I'm saying? And money should never be a thing between friends, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's just uh friendly advice and situations of that nature. But that's my thought on it, man. If it's a friend, it's different from a friend to a strange person. If it's a strange person you don't really know, then yes, I would say that. Them doing that, what he was saying, make a lot of sense. But if you saying this was a friend, it changed the narrative. You know what I'm saying? So because your friend or your family should always want to see you to be good or do good. You know what I'm saying? For me, it's never competition or anything. If you need advice, I'm just going to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? That's how I am. But that's all. Being there, child. Love y'all.